This is the Canon Film Guy, and today we will be going over the Canon AL-1, which came out in 1982. This was Canon's first foray into autofocus uh, Canon SLRs, um, as you can see right here. Um, they made a big deal about it in popular photography in uh, 1982. And if you're like me, you might have bought this and said, ooh, this is cool, and you get it in the mail, and suddenly you press the shutter, you try a bunch of things, you put in fresh new batteries, it does not work, um, and therefore, I'm going to cover two things in this really quick short video about what to look out for and how to fix it based on a, a really cool post on photo.net. So the first thing to look out for is to um, get a fresh set of AAA batteries. Now this is um, a battery assisted SLR. It was one, Canon, one, one of uh, Canon's first cameras to actually use like a conventional um, battery. So make sure you've got a fresh set there. And uh, the way to check if it's actually functional is to press this little button right here. Now, you have to kind of press it pretty deeply, and you should actually be able to see inside the needle moving up and down. The other quick way to check is to make sure that this self-timer LED goes off. Now, happily, they've made it so that you can see the LED on front and on top as well. But if you change the shooting mode right here from A over to S, and then you uh, make sure that you can actually shoot. It should um, flicker for a little bit and uh, your shutter should go off. Now, even after this happens, your shutter might not go off and you're like, oh man, I just bought a really heavy paperweight. It was a waste of money. Let me go to another camera website, give a bad review and buy another one. But I will give you reason to pause. It turns out it's relatively uh, a common thing in the Canon AL world um, for the shutter to be stuck, um, especially if it hasn't been used for a while. So take a pair of jewelers or a single jeweler's screwdriver like this and take three screws out, one, two, and three. Now that you've done that, you can remove the bottom plate it's usually a little bit easier to actually go from this side, although you can see that there's a little bit of a divot here, so you can use that as a sort of um, starting point. And you see this, and you're like, oh my god, what have I just done? Once you have the base plate removed, let's turn the camera over to face you. And if uh, your shutter is stuck, you might be in a situation where you pull and nothing happens, right? And you can see some of the pieces here. You might actually play around a little bit and see, well, does this actually do anything? It does not. Turns out that the beauty of the magic is actually right here. See that? Little pyramid shaped thing. And if your shutter actually like this does not trip, you can actually artificially trip shutter by pressing this upwards. Right? You can take a small little screwdriver and let me try it again. Again, you're, you should be in a situation where your shutter does not move, everything is stuck. You can press the button for as, for as many times as you want and it won't go off, but if you press that, it should go off. And after that, I'm hoping, at least in your case, you should be able to wind and take photos with the AL-1 as you see fit. So there you have it, your Canon AL-1 should be fully functional, hopefully. Um, barring other issues, your shutter should now actually uh, activate and stay tuned, watch the next video for some neat features of this camera now that you have it working. Thanks for watching.